Mai Baran originally is the older form of Muay Thai. Um, it originated from a sport called Krabi Kabong, well, a martial art called Krabi Kabong, it's not really a sport, which was developed by the Thai army. Um, now Mai Baran became the non-weapon non side of that, uh, and then that eventually filtered down into what we know today as Muay Thai, which is like the competitive sport version of where it all came from. training uh, routines for Thai boxing, uh, the best ones are still the old ones, pad work, sparring, uh, drilling, uh, that sort of thing, you can't, you can't do my Thai unless you do those. <laughs> Popular strength and conditioning, uh, as, it's, as it's known at the minute, is important as well for your main lifts. You need to be strong. Uh, you can get away without being strong, but if you're fighting someone who's strong, then you're going to have a disadvantage to what they have. With repetition work, for my tie, it's vital. There's loads of repetition work it's doing the same stuff over and over and over and over again to try and get the muscle memory link so your body does it naturally without having to think. And you try and ask your body to do a complicated movement with speed and power while keeping your balance and not falling over and not getting hit at the same time. <laughs> yeah, the Y crew is a dance, it's, uh, it's where the, the Ram Moy is a dance, uh, but the Ram Moy and the Y crew are linked heavily together, they're both part of the same dance at the start. The Y crew is the first part which uh, seals the ring and pays respects to the coach. Y is a word for respect in Thai and crew means teacher. Uh, Muay Thai is an individual sport. Uh, you're competing as an individual. However, it's, it's far from that uh, with, as far as the preparation goes. And it's actual, the actual event as well is very much a team thing. Uh, the family environment or the, or the family feeling in the gym gives you a feeling of support in a, a sport which is very difficult. It's, uh, it's painful at times. Uh, you've got it's disappointing at times. Um, having your teammates around you, especially if you've got a group of guys training for fights together, and they're all going through the same sort of stuff. One day one of them will be shining, the other one will be feeling shit, and then the next day it'll change around. And having that um, having that bond with your teammates and your coaches as well, uh, it makes you fight better, and it, it makes you feel like you're part of something rather than you are in it all alone. Uh, although ultimately you're the only one in the ring, then it's the fights aren't won in the ring, they won in the eight weeks beforehand. Uh, it's a mental sport, I would say the sport's 70% mental, 30% physical. So if they can put up with me calling them worse than shit for eight weeks, then they're going to be alright to fight. Which is the way I see it. In a friendly sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> as far as paying the respects to the culture side goes, we'll have, we'll have a Buddha in the gym, which we we do the Sadan salutation to at the end of every session. Okay, hands feet together, face me. Right, this Buddha. Right.